Hello, my name is Christopher Thompson and I am an LPN with Central Vermont Medical Center. I am here to talk with you about implementing a patient health care prov provider communication tool, also known as telehealth, that aims at improving efficiency and cost in regards to the current health care paradigm. The current health care model has been in place for several decades requiring patients to navigate their schedules in the world to see their health care providers for a minimal amount of time. However, non-life-threatening inquiries could be handled more efficiently and has multiple setbacks. These setbacks include time consumption on both the patient and provider's part, financial impediments, institutional resources, and excessive obstacles that could otherwise be handled more proficiently. Implementing telehealth in your institution could solve many healthcare limitations. During this presentation, I will address the need for telehealth and outline equipment and personnel required, as well as a timetable for implementation which includes a detailed description of the budget needed for this operation. Time consumption is one of the setbacks. The current healthcare model has been in place for several decades, requiring patients to navigate their schedules in the world to see their healthcare providers for a minimal amount of time. Needless to say, it takes a good amount of time on behalf of both the patient and provider in order to schedule and conduct a visit to the doctor. Patients take too much time from their occupations and daily occurrences to spend a minimal amount of time with their healthcare provider. This current healthcare model especially affects those patients that are living with a disability, in a rural location, or without a personal mode of transportation. The current healthcare model has financial setbacks as well. The United States has more money than most countries in the world and spends more money than any other country in the world on healthcare. However, most people in this country lack healthcare coverage. Because of cost, the current healthcare model also creates distance between patients that do have coverage from their provider, resulting in inconsistent communication about their overall health. Consequently, patients and providers are more distant than ever due to the financial burdens of the healthcare model. A patient healthcare professional communication platform, or telehealth, makes healthcare cheaper by eliminating unnecessary resources and consolidating overall expenditure. Your healthcare institution involves far too many resources in order for your patient to be seen for non-life-threatening issues. Doctors, nurses, midwives, secretaries, medical assistants, and other subsidiary staff are involved in practically every patient visit that consequently lands in the hands of the physician. Having a good patient healthcare professional platform that could bypass the impracticality of involving unnecessary staff members could improve the efficiency of your overall institution. On the contrary, healthcare professionals are able to competently learn skills, assess patients, and provide educational feedback without leaving the confinements of their communities. The current healthcare model places tremendous amount of dependence on the healthcare provider when it comes to delivering care. Patients visiting doctors, therapists, and various other healthcare professionals are treated in a hierarchical manner that displaces too much responsibility on the caregiver and not enough on the patients themselves. A patient healthcare professional platform provides patients with an equal position on their health with respect to healthcare professionals. A patient healthcare professional platform enables patients to participate more in making decisions about their own medical management by creating a commensurate obligation in the interaction of their health. Solutions. The most effective way to utilize telehealth is to integrate a patient health care professional communication platform. This entails making a few adjustments to the hospital dynamics, which includes integrating new services, purchasing additional materials, and offering an informational session for healthcare professionals so they will become familiar with telehealth practices. We are proposing to implement telehealth for the practice of Central Vermont Medical Center here. The project will take approximately two months from approval to completion with an evaluation phase. The cost to implement electronic medical records in our practices is roughly $2,200,000, which includes vendors, hardware, software, training costs, and ongoing support from the project manager. The goal of this project is to increase productivity 
increase efficiency of healthcare works, increase revenue, and gain 100% patient and staff satisfaction. Again, this project is estimated to cost around $2,200,000. This overall estimate will cover hardware costs that includes telemedicine kiosks, webcams, laptops, tablets, telemedicine kits, and telemedicine carts. Other fees include cover to cover software, installation fees, marketing and advertising, and orientation and training for all staff involved. Telemedicine carts give providers a mobile frame and storage system to carry cameras, computer monitors, keyboards, computers, and mobile medical devices. The carts sometimes look similar to standing work desks, with computer monitors attached at the top and wheels at the bottom for easy moving. Telemedicine kiosks are usually stocked with all the equipment and commonly used mo mobile medical devices needed for a telemedicine visit. These kiosks are somewhat expensive and often only purchased by larger companies to extend healthcare offerings to employees and pharmacy customers. Telemedicine kiosks allow providers who are routinely providing frontline care in remote areas across the U.S. and around the world to have portable, durable resource for essential supplies. Telemedicine equipment kits often look like a sturdy briefcase or large medical kit. Inside these kits include a small computer with an integrated screen, a camera, and a simple mobile medical device. Telemedicine software requires the purchase of a software system that needs to be installed on our medical practices computers. These software solutions may require additional equipment like data storage, hardware, or servers. All the software also should be checked for compatibility against healthcare providers' computer operating systems. The timetable. We would like to start around May 1st, 2017 for a project approval. May 3rd to 4th, we'd like to collaborate with the hospital chief nursing advisor. May 5th, we'd like to move telehealth professionals into being hired to fill the previously stated positions. May 9th, Submit purchase order to buy telehealth materials. Around the 10th or 11th of May, we'd like all healthcare professionals, personnel, and the chief nur nursing officer to have informational sessions about what's going on. May 16th, we'd like telehealth materials to arrive at the hospital and to unpack and get these ready for implementation. May 17th through 18th, informational sessions continue while integrating telehealth services into the hospital. Uh, and from May 20th to April 20th, within this month, this is going to be our evaluation phase of telehealth integration and materials and how it makes modern medicine more efficient. This includes feedback from all professionals involved. Concluding, implementing a telehealth in a clinical practice setting such as a hospital is a revolutionary implementation. It will require hospital-wide collective team effort as well as a general community adoption of technological advancements. We are eager to work with you to implement a telehealth program that will work efficiently to improve patient healthcare professional relationships for non-acute medical concerns. It is our objective to help guarantee that you, our staff, and our patients have a smooth transition. Now, any questions from the audience?